hey, here's a crazy thought. Dark Souls is good. Turns out lots of game developers have had that same thought and have channeled it into creating games that are, to some extent, inspired by the Souls series. Since it's kind of like Dark Souls, we'd call one of these games a Souls-like. Now a lot of these can be disasters, but some are genuinely special, and I've taken it upon myself to dig deep and find ones I don't see anyone talking about. So if that sounds interesting, here's episode 7 of... Steam Dumpster Diving. Real quick, before I get to the first game, I have something really cool to share. For the first time in the seven years that I've had this channel, I now have actual merch. I've been sponsored by and have partnered with Displate to make a Souls-inspired metal poster that I'm extremely proud of. I'll talk about it more at the end of the video, but basically it's a reimagining of if Demon Souls came out during the N64 era. It's supposed to be all the zones mashed together with little references and gags hidden throughout. I'm very, very happy with how it came out, so if you want to get one for yourself, check out the link in the description. Anyway, that's it. Let's check out some games. Alright, we got Chrono Sword. I found this game totally by chance on Kickstarter and it kind of looks rad as hell. It says it's a Souls-like action adventure game with time travel and incredible pixel art. Uh, the campaign's still going for it, but unfortunately by the time I post this video, it'll probably be over. But either way, let's check it out. This is uh, Chrono Sword. You got kind of like an isometric view. So the A button, you got like your little dodge. Alright, let's just go. This gate won't open from this side. It's like such a meme at this point. The whole this door won't open from the side thing. That's how you know. That's how you know they were inspired by uh, the Soul series. Wow, that's a lot of health. That's a big health bar. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Whoa, you got the classic uh, Dark Souls enemies just in barrels inexplicably. This feels like a boss. Superior Knight. Woo. What's he gonna do? Oh, fuck. Okay, one health, one health. Roll, roll. No! <laughs> I was a full hell. I got it. This is the end of the demo. Thank you for playing. Hell yeah. I think this game has a lot of potential. This is extremely evocative of the Soul series, and I really, really, really like the art style. This might be one to keep an eye on. It's still kind of like in a rough state, but I don't know, maybe check on this like a year or two from now, or however long it is, and there might be something really special here. Next up we got The Fallen, but not to be confused with Lords of the Fallen. This game is actually entirely free. It's not even a demo, it's just the whole game's free. And the description says, play as a knight who awakens in the land of the... I don't know. I don't know where he awakens. We gotta, we gotta find out. <laughs> the right stick on my controller is working, but not my left stick. All right, keyboard and mouse it is. Loving this run animation, by the way, so we can jump. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready. Oh my God, that was my controller. <laughs> I want them to die from the trap. Oh wait, I think they are getting hurt by it. Yeah, let's just, let's just use the trap. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Oh! <laughs> get me out. <laughs> Fuck. I get it. This is like, this is like that one Fall Guys minigame. Wait a second. I bet it's the light on the ceiling. I bet that's the hint. Follow the light. Swing. Push! <laughs> I think his AI just broke. This host is failing me. Yep. No! <laughs> C to dash toward target? Wait, what? Yo. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What the fuck was that? It's still happening. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> this is so scuffed. You have to hit both his hands. And then the mist by his torso goes away for like five seconds. R to pull platform towards you. Oh. You know, why doesn't, uh... 
Why doesn't Dark Souls have a grapple hook? I kind of wish it did. I think every game is actually made better by having both a jump button and a grappling hook. I can't really think of any exceptions, to be honest. Oh, you know, what if you played StarCraft with a grapple hook? Yeah, fuck yeah. StarCraft with a grapple hook would be awesome. Why is there a timer? Why is there a timer? Wait, what? What? What is happening? Okay. I hit the wrong button! I hit the roll button. Oh my god. I have to do it all over again, don't I? God damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, he's stuck. He's stuck in the air. He's stuck. This is my chance. Yes! <laughs> we take those. Please give me an ending that was worth it all. Show me an ending that was worth it. No. I think this was actually like a school project. And as a school project, this is actually pretty impressive, you know? Pretty cool. As a game, you know, it's, you know, you know what this is. But uh, if this really was like a group of students that worked on this, good job, guys. You, you did a great job. Hey, let's do two quick ones. They're both on mobile, and I'll tell you up front, I'm gonna recommend both, Bleak Sword and Grim Valor. Starting off with Bleak Sword, I randomly stumbled across this game when I tried the Apple Arcade the other day. If you don't know what that is, it's basically the Xbox Game Pass, but for iOS. So this is my favorite kind of mobile game, a mobile game that recognizes that it's a mobile game. What do I mean by that? I mean that the control scheme is actually suited for a touchscreen, and you can play the whole game with just one hand. Too often, I'll see games have some needlessly complex control scheme that makes the experience on mobile miserable, but this one gets it right. As for the game itself, basically this is a game where you control a little dude with a sword and shield who wants to fight monsters. You can swing, parry, and dodge, and taking some notes from Dark Souls 3, you can dodge as much as you want. And if you die, and I wonder where they got this idea from, you lose all of your experience for the next level up with a chance to recover it if you beat the level on your next attempt. Also, I believe there are 90 levels, and each one will probably take you less than a minute. So yeah, there's not a lot to this one, but I really like the controls, the sound design, the minimalist art design, and the simplicity of the game itself. Is it worth subscribing to Apple Arcade, the only way to play this, just for this game? Probably not, but if you're already paying for it, you should give this one a look. Next, we got Grim Valor for seven bucks, no Apple Arcade required. I'm not sure the best way to describe this game, but imagine the combat of a melee-focused Metroidvania with a dodge mechanic, but with level design that's generally a lot more linear than an actual Metroidvania. It's got leveling, bosses that kind of reminded me of Dark Souls, and even analogs for bonfires, Estus flasks, and souls. It's even got a hub area called the Nexus, which also seems to literally use the font from Demon's Souls. I don't know if that's actually even allowed, but oh well. This game took me around six hours to beat, and for a rating, I'd give it a okay out of 10, but it's elevated by the fact that it's a mobile game with good controls while providing a more or less full game experience. In that regard, it rises above a lot of what you'll see on the App Store, and within the context of mobile games, it's very solid. If this game was on console or PC, would I recommend it? No. But on mobile? Absolutely. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So I opened up the page for this game, and the first thing I see is a cat girl with pink hair and a machine gun. Um, so that's... That's probably a good sign. This is Early Access, and one of the reviews says, The fusion of tactical, Soulsian combat and Binding of Isaac-esque roguelike dungeon crawling. I like that term Soulsian. I've never seen that term. I don't know if it's going to catch on quite like Souls-like, but good effort. Let's check it out. <laughs> so we can dodge around. Can attack. Oh, this is like a parry. Let's play. I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! Cartman! So, so far the layout of these rooms seems very similar to like Bonnie of Isaac, where you have like a square grid layout and just go from room to room collecting shit. Here, everyone, come here, follow me. Follow me, follow me. And die. Okay, so different weapons actually have like different movesets. That's pretty cool. Can I, can I try this like a new character I can try? Do you want to hear about my life experiences? Me on a first date. Just keep poking him. Keep poking him slowly. It'll work. I got him. Let's go. When you obtain this item, there's a chance you'll gain 100 coins or lose all of your coins. Fuck it. All right, I have zero coins now. Oh no, it's a frog monster. No. Yeah, okay, I just killed... 
I just got killed by some slime on the ground. So overall, pretty good. Uh, some of the bosses and like enemies, like their attack patterns and animations and everything, like the quality's on the lower side, but it does seem like there's actually a fair amount of depth here. There's like a lot of options in terms of weapons and characters. Uh, I'm pretty impressed by just how much there seems to be in this game. If you're into Binding of Isaac or a closer comparison might be Hades, I think you're actually gonna like this game. Obviously the, the overhaul polish is gonna be lower than those games, but it'll scratch that same kind of itch. And it also kind of blends the, the slow pace of souls and the stamina management and the equipment. I think there's something here. If you're into these types of games, there's a good chance this one maybe went under your radar and I think it actually deserves a bit more attention. You know, sometimes it's really hard to find these games, but other times it's actually really easy. And one of the ways it's easy is when they just put souls in the title. That's usually a, a giveaway. There's only a demo right now, but the screenshots really caught my attention and I'm really curious what kind of game this is. Okay, so you can like charge your attack and like aim it. Holy fuck, what is this inventory? Whoa, there's like... There's a lot here. Oh shit, here we go. Oh fuck. Yo, this is... This is pretty rad. Woo! No, 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 no! Holy shit, first try. Yo, Vadi, if you run out, of, run out of stuff to talk about in Demon's Souls, this game has lore. Okay, okay, okay. It's the fucking Tower Knight in Demon's Souls. Oh, come on. Oh, come what? That's my whole health bar, dude. That's my whole health bar. Wait, I just realized this game has kind of like the Bloodborne mechanic where you can like heal by attacking. What? 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 <laughs> Woo. Whoa, my God. Fuck this game. I'm pretty impressed. To be quite honest though, I don't know if this is gonna be my type of game. This game seems to be just bosses with the caveat of you actually do get to customize your character a little bit. I'm personally not a huge fan of like these only boss games. That's never been like the main draw for me when it comes to these types of games. So if the boss fights of Dark Souls are like your favorite part and you really like an actual pretty hard challenge, this might be one to keep an eye on. So as you can probably guess from its title, I found this game very easily on Steam. Apparently this is an early access game where you recruit other prisoners and explore the corridors of the prison. Let's check it out. Uh, so we're in this prison cell. Uh, this is what happens when I move the camera, by the way. <laughs> I just start gyrating. I'm follow you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we can, we can block, we can swing. Doesn't seem like there's a parry. Wait, maybe this is the parry? <laughs> All right, let's uh, open up. Oh, what the, oh, is that an enemy? I thought that was gonna be a nice guy, like I rescued him. Oh, fuck. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. Go, just go, 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 go. Dude, this is a goddamn maze. Okay. Pl what are you doing? Hit it. <laughs> My guy just started levitating. He's like, yeah. Okay. All right, this is, um. I don't know about this one, fellas. Jail key gitted. All right, is that creepy guy in here again? Thanks, we fight together. Oh, wait, I got another guy. I will help you too. Oh, yes, we got three now. Thanks for helping me. We have four. We have five. I'm starting to get into this game now. This is the squad game. Wait, why is there just a house down here? Go, 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 go. Just spam him, just spam him. Oh, I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. Finish him. Yes. Wait, everyone died. War is hell. You know, there, there, might, be, there might be a couple games out there that are a little more worth your time. 
I apologize in advance for butchering the pronunciation, but this is Zhuan Wan Sword 7. This is a Chinese game, and the visuals and setting reminded me a lot of Gujian 3. If you remember, I played that one way back in the first video of the series. It looks kind of high budget though, and I'm very curious to see how good it is. So we can dodge. Oh yeah! Wait, this this is kind of soulsy. Is this what I think it is? Bonfire lit. Oh my god. Wait, we got we got some uncharted gameplay too. Oh. Alright, so I've been playing for about an hour at this point. I think the game's just finally getting started now. There were quite a bit of like cutscenes and story stuff. I probably cut that in editing. But anyway, long story short, your sister gets killed by a monster and you're trying to revive her, but you can't. So you turn her into a ghost and you need to like go do some stuff so that you can actually revive her for real. So, you know, you're traveling with your sister, collecting stuff. Oh shit, you can just capture stuff. Wait, are you kidding? No, I'm, I'm not pressing it. I'm not pressing it. Oh, come on. I, <laughs> I wanted to see it fail. All right. Okay, I am like two hours into this game now, and I've literally only fought these dire wolves as an enemy. Oh, here we go. New enemy type. It's a different colored wolf. <laughs> it's another wolf. It's a fire wolf this time. Alright, alright. Yo, this isn't half bad. I'm sorry, Dad. I deserve an ass whooping. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> There's a skip the puzzle button. You know, I love this as a feature. I'm not gonna do it. This is a great feature, though. I should have hit the button. I should have skipped it. Fuck. This sucks. Oh, that took a while. I gotta do it again! <laughs> no! Oh man, this is agonizing. I I can't stress enough how slow this process is. Like, I have it figured out in my head. This sucks. What the fuck is this? Hello? What is this thing? It's a little frog. <laughs> what is this thing? It's got so much health. Oh shit, he's running! Let's go. Holy shit. Holy fuck, look at this thing. Yeah. 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 Alright, alright. Right. We got some cool fights now. This is actually good. So first off, my favorite thing about this game is the setting. As someone who's not super familiar with ancient Chinese history and mythology, it's genuinely really cool to see them explored within a game that has a seemingly decent budget. That being said, the rest of the experience fell mostly flat to me. And for context, I put a solid six hours in, which for me meant I got roughly two thirds of the way through the story. This game is extremely cutscene heavy, like to the point where I was getting a cutscene literally every minute or two. To a certain extent, I don't have a problem with games that do this, but you have to make it worth it with an interesting or engaging story, and this game just did not have that for me. In terms of gameplay, I can tell there's a solid foundation here, but it's greatly brought down by the lack of enemy variety, forgettable encounters, combat that's overly button mashy, and level design that feels dated by around 10 or 15 years. I was only truly engaged by the boss fights, which actually aren't bad, so it's a shame that the rest of the game doesn't measure up. Overall, this is an extremely mediocre game that feels like it could have come out 10 years ago despite being new. That being said, I'm excited to see more games explore a similar setting, and if there was ever a sequel that iterated on the combat, I might give it a shot. So interesting thing about this game, it was actually very briefly, I believe, a Discord store exclusive for a few months. Remember that? Remember the Discord store? That's gone. It's been gone for a year. Um, but yeah, this is Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption. It's a, it says it's a boss battler action RPG. But yeah, let's just check it out. This is extremely evocative of Souls. You've got the phantoms. Whoa, it's an enemy? <laughs> Dude, this roll animation though, and like the speed of it, uh, that is Dark Souls 3. 
All right, I'm skipping right to the review with this one. So basically this is another one of those boss rush games. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm just generally not a fan of these types of games. However, they can definitely work, but the trick is to have good bosses. And of the nine in this game, I'd say only three are decent and the rest fall somewhere between extremely frustrating and tedious. There's also the gimmick this game has where every boss you fight gives you some permanent debuff for the rest of this game. On paper, this is sort of interesting, but I felt it didn't really impact the gameplay much at all. And it was mostly just mildly annoying more than anything. And it's sort of wild just how close they tried to mimic the gameplay of controlling your character of an actual Souls game without putting in any sort of mechanical twist to change it. If you absolutely love boss rushes, there might be something here for you, but for everyone else, I'm gonna say pass. Especially since it's 20 bucks and I beat it in under two hours. So as of this video, I've officially covered over 50 Souls likes within this video series. And the reason this subgenre of games, as well as my YouTube channel to a certain extent, even exists at all is because of Demon Souls, the one that started it all in 2009. It's one of my favorite games of all time, so I commissioned Kevin's computer to help create a piece of art inspired by it. This is Demon's Demake, and like I mentioned at the start, we were going for an N64 vibe or maybe something like a toy set. The idea was to somehow fit all five zones plus the Nexus into a single interconnected structure, which was a real challenge. It's also supposed to revolve around this knight character, finding himself in different scenarios as he starts at the bottom and works his way up. There's hidden references throughout the artwork, and I don't have time to explain all of them, but as an example, there's a shop run by Patches, and we tried to make it kind of like an old school 3D Zelda, like Ocarina of Time, where the shop items sort of float above the counter. Little things like that were really fun to come up with. But why Displate? Three main reasons. One, I have faith in the physical product. I think the metal itself is very sleek, and the colors came out perfectly. Two, the problem posters sometimes have with damaging walls is solved by Displate due to these little magnets. You just stick them on the wall with the protective leaves, and because the poster is metal, it just attaches with no issues. And lastly, I like how Displate plants a tree for every poster sold. I think that's nice. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this all came out, and I hope people like it just as much as I do. If you do want to get one for yourself, just use the link in the description. And if it's within a week of this video coming out, you'll get 34% off your order. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know I've played a lot, but I'm positive I've not yet played all the Souls likes that are out there. So feel free to comment and recommend ones I still haven't checked out. Alright, that's it. Thanks again.